Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program must observe strings S1, S2 and S3 as the input. Then the program must print the largest substring which is present, sorry, the longest substring which is present in all the three strings. So we have also given a note that if there is no such string, no such substring, then we must print minus one. So we are getting three strings S1, S2, S3 and print the longest substring which is present in all the three sub three strings and the note is if there is no such string if there is no such substring we have to print minus one so take our first test case so here the longest substring which is present in all the three strings is x y z as you can see it is present in all s1 s2 and s3 so x, y, z will be our output. Now take our second test case. So here we don't have any substring that is common to S1, S2 and S3. So as we have given in the note, we have to print minus one as our output. So let us understand the key logic of this program. The logic is we sorry generate all the substrings of S1 and and then check whether it is in present in the three strings so generate all the substrings of s1 and then check whether it is there in the three strings then if it is there print the substrings and exit else we have to print minus one as our output let us implement our program first we'll get the three strings s1 s2 s3 so input of dot split off now we'll generate all the possible substrings of s1 so for length in range len of s1 comma 0 comma minus 1 so why we have used this because we will get all the possible substrings from len of len of s1 to 1 so first we'll get the substring of the length of s1 and we will decrease it by 1 accordingly and get all our substrings till 1. Now we will iterate over the loop for index in range len of s1 minus length plus 1 then we will initialize the substring equal to s1 of index 
and index plus one, sorry, plus length. Then we check whether if the substring is in S2 and substring in S3, so also in S1 and if the substring is present in all the three substrings we have to print that substring and exit the loop else we have to print the minus one so now let us execute our program first we'll pass our first test case so we have got the correct output then we'll pass our second test case so here we have got minus one as our output as you can see there is no substring which is common to all the strings our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video